Hey, Guillermo, have you ever, like, been to a bar mitzvah? No, never. You've never been to one. Do you know what a bar mitzvah is? Uh, I think it's when a boy become a man. It is. It's a Jewish tradition that, like, you, when a boy, like, hits seventh grade, he becomes a man, and they have a whole party for him. Well, a lot of kids, when they have these bar mitzvah or bat mitzvah for girls, have some kind of a theme, like Harry Potter or a football team. Some kids will have an 80s theme, but there's a young man who lives in Media, Pennsylvania. His name is Will Rubin. His theme for his bar mitzvah was this. Hey, Jimmy, what's up? It's Will from Philly, not to be confused with Will Smith, West Philadelphia, born and raised. I want you to be at my bar mitzvah June 24th because I'm basing it all around you. We even have your set. I want your job one day. Okay, so that is not Will Smith, first of all. I don't know if that was an invitation or a threat, but he wasn't kidding. He, it really was a uh, me-themed bar mitzvah. From media, it's Will Rubin Live. Tonight, Amy Rubin, Eric Rubin, Andrew Rubin, Natalie Rubin, with All Around Entertainment. And now, from Media, Pennsylvania, it's Will Rubin! No. There he is. All the Rubens I can understand. How did he get All Around Entertainment? We've been trying to book them for years. But anyway, I wanted to surprise Will. Uh, there's no way in hell I was going to media Pennsylvania. So I uh, made a video, sent it to his parents, and they played it for him at his party. Hello, Will. It's Jimmy Kimmel. Congratulations <laughs> on your bar mitzvah. Today, you become a man. A man with no body hair, you become today. When I heard you themed your bar mitzvah after my show, I was so uh, moved, I called my attorney to see what kind of damages I could collect. <laughs> He did say they would be substantial, but then a little voice inside me told me that um, the optics of suing a 13-year-old on his big day might not look right, so I, I agree to settle for half of the money your grandparents give you tonight, okay? So that seems like a fair enough deal. We, we sent over, we sent a, a gift, we sent a giant ice sculpture of what I think is Guillermo's head. And so like Sweats just like you. Yeah. And joining us now, the bar mitzvah boy himself, Will Rubin. Uh, hi, Will. Where is Will? There he is. How you doing, Will? Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations on becoming a man. Do you feel like a man? Because you don't look like a man, but you... Well, uh, I may not look like a man, but I certainly do feel like one. You do. Oh, that's good. That's all that matters. What was the theme for your bar mitzvah going to be if it wasn't me? Well, I mean, through the years, I've had a ton of interest. It, it kind of went on like a six-month cycle. I'd have like a new interest every six oh, months. Am I over now, or is it still? <laughs> no, no, you're still going. What was your previous interest before me? I don't know, probably like cleaning or something. I can't remember. <laughs> it was nice. So, well, I guess I'm honored. I. I mean, it is, uh, uh, do, you, do you, by the way, do you still have that Guillermo ice sculpture? Because it was a loner. I need it for a quinceanera. Oh. Hey, Will. Will, what? is that you? Will. Yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm John hey, Stewart. John. I'm a, a talk show host as well. I was a few years ago. And uh, I, I'm a Jew. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you, you probably had your choice of really, you know, idolizing any, any talk show host. And, and you, you could have gone with a Jew, is what I'm I saying. Can't... You went with... Please, John. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Will, before we get any further, don't mm -hmm. be fooled. May I speak with him? Yeah, go ahead, yes. Check it, Pavakasha! <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that, Will? Did you get yeah. that joke? Yeah. You know, yes. you know who didn't get that joke? Jimmy Kimmel! Because <laughs> he's not a Jew! <laughs> Don't be... Will. Yeah. Don't be fooled by his learned-looking beard. <laughs> And his puffy, sad eyes. <laughs> he's not rabbinical, he's just unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I well, 
Wouldn't yeah. you rather idolize a talk show host that is also circumcised? Wouldn't you rather? <laughs> He's not. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I don't know how I put this. How do the kids say it? He's still uh, wearing his hoodie. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe you could have a John Stewart themed wedding, Will? I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> Sunrise, sunset. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. I didn't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, so pushy, these people, right? Am I right? <laughs> Will, how do we come out on the money front? You owe me half of whatever your grandparents gave you. How much? Well, well you know, I've been thinking, and I thought maybe instead of you, I could give it to something that's really more uh, important. So I thought, <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I I'm giving it to the, the Children's Hospital of L.A. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's very generous. You're a real mensch, as we say, right? Is that it, right? Well, thank you. Well, thank congratulations. You. Mazel tov to you. And uh, thank you. enjoy your manhood. You're a good kid. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel and you'll finally be happy.